everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Well, tonight I've got a great little team in the kitchen. So I've got the fabulous Amy Archibald from Wedding Couture Wedding Cakes by Sweet Cheeks. Did Lovely. I get it right? Yes, you did. Oh my God, I've been practicing. Oh, <laughs> so this lady is in the kitchen tonight and she's got an amazing live. Now, why are we doing it on a Friday? Because Amy has to go back home on Sunday night, so we can't get her here on Monday. So we agreed that we'll do it tonight. And um, for those of you who don't get to watch all of it, you know what, it's going to be pinned to the top of the page and you'll be able to come back and watch it at your leisure. And hello YouTubers, are we on YouTube? Yes. Hello! <laughs> if you are on YouTube or you're watching both channels, please make sure you subscribe to our channel and then that means you'll get a notification off YouTube when we go live. Does that sound all professional? Yes. It's only took me three years. <laughs> <laughs> right, so in the kitchen I've got Maria who's going to be doing her filming and I've also got a little guest in the kitchen. Come on then, Samantha. <laughs> so Samantha is one of our followers and she had to pop up here the other day to collect something that she bought from the shop and I said I've got it here at the house. And then, uh, so she was so chuffed to be here and she happened to, happened to tell her that Amy was here and uh, I said that she could come up and watch the live so she can see it all. So if you do hear any muffling around, she has to earn her way in the kitchen by <laughs> brewing up, melting the drip, being your skibby, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah. And then afterwards she's got to sweep them up the floors while we go to bed. <laughs> do you like that idea? And that's absolutely fine. There fun. you go. I think that's fair <laughs> payment, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll let you sit down there. So I'm just going like, to let tell you what Amy's got. Well, in fact, I'm going to let Amy tell you what she's going to do tonight. Look at that. Look at that, Maria. Yes. Oh, by the way, hello, Maria. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Do I need to go higher? No, no, that, that, that's yeah. perfect. 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 Right, so Amy, do you want to tell them what you're doing tonight? Yes, we are doing a small hydrangea um, bunch and it's individually wired petals. We've also got some leaves. Um, we'll also be doing sharp edges. So wait a minute, on so I'm, gonna show them. I'm gonna show them the leaves. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So we've got our dummy here and we're gonna be doing some sharp edges, upside down method, which is the one that I choose to use all the time. And using the fabulous Farina Smoothers. Yes, we at that. are, yes we are. And um, we're also going to be lustering and using some chocolate drip. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. So we're, if you wonder why we're doing all this, Amy wasn't at this setup last time you were here. So now she's covered in cameras and doesn't know where to look. <laughs> I know. So we've got Maria doing all the usual things like Laura does, the hand signals. <laughs> here, down. So we're gonna try and work them out. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a great night. So how's our audience building? Well, it's really like, we, sorry, it's really nice. We have almost 200, I believe. Let me check it again. No, sorry, we have almost 250 and it keeps growing. So yeah. thank you so much everybody for Which watching Which is amazing us. on a Friday night. Anyhow, I'm really chuffed that football's on. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> How lucky are we? So what I'm gonna do is, before Amy starts, I'm just gonna tell you a few things that's going on in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. So you get a couple of minutes to sit down, Amy. So there you go. So um, obviously we wasn't here last night because um, I developed a migraine. I do suffer migraines as well as tinnitus, a poorly back, a bad knee, a dodgy hip. And then I have my hot flushes and everything else that goes wrong for a 58 year old woman that I'm soon to be in a couple of weeks. So um, there you go, life story. <laughs> so um, I wasn't well yesterday, but I am fighting fit back feeling great today and um, the live we apologize now we always do a draw for the lives so if you want to like and share will be great that will give you an opportunity to win a 25 pound voucher so last Thursday's live we will draw tonight at the end of this live and tonight's live technically it's Thursdays we will draw next Thursday oh we can't draw it next Thursday can we because we're not here oh, we're up at Crafters true. Companion aren't we so I'll tell you what we're here on Monday so on Monday I'll do two draws so I'll do last Monday's draw on Monday and I'll do tonight's draw on Monday so let's t uh, tell you what's going on over the next few weeks so I've got Molly Robbins back in the kitchen on Monday she's going to do a live here and she's bringing her legs with her Amazingly, Ooh. she's got two legs and four legs. So she's going to bring those with her and she's going to do a demo here in the kitchen. Molly has also agreed to do two classes for us in March. So that's March the 14th and the 15th. We've got Saturday, 
I can't remember if it's standing on Saturday and lay and mould on Sunday. But basically, we're going to go through the recipe with you. All the cakes will be made, but I will be baking the cake while you're here in the kitchen. And Molly is going to show you how to use the mould. Hopefully, she's going to use her legs. I'm sure that she is. She hasn't decided what she's going to do yet because basically, she wants to do it you will be the first in class to learn it and then she's going to make it one of her tutorials so that's very very exciting so anybody who books on that class you'll have no idea what you're going to make but you'll be the first to make it so i think that's really exciting now if you want to um, join that class um, you can pay full on the website which is brilliant i think it's 149 pounds or you can pay in free instalments of £50 a month, which is fantastic. All you need to do is ring Laura in the office on Monday, let her know which class you want to book on, or both classes, and you pay your instalment money. Um, so that means you pay an instalment now, you pay an instalment um, in February. Well, if you pay it tomorrow, you're in February, aren't you? <laughs> so you're in February, you pay one on the 1st of March, and then you pay one on the 1st of April. And there we go, free payments. I can't make it any easier for you. All our classes, I've now decided to make them all in payment form. I realise that so many people want to come on classes and they want to come on a few. The only thing I ask you to honour is you pay, okay? Don't do a runner on me, I'll find you. So, <laughs> um, so other things that's going on, so don't forget to like and share. We did a cupcake bouquet class in the week. I quickly popped up to show you that cupcake bouquet. And for the first time ever, I couldn't even remember how many cupcakes I put in it, but I counted it after it was 24. So I actually made tw a 24 cupcake bouquet and the girls in class actually made a 3, a 7 and a 12. Um, my next class is on the 19th of February and the 11th of March. And all the classes I'm telling you about, you can break down into payments. Uh, Emily Coyles is fully booked. And then we've got... Um, Michael Lewis Anderson in the kitchen. He's got three classes. This Saturday class is booked. His Friday and Sunday class are half full. So if you want to learn everything about Royal Icing, he's very excited to be here. We're very excited to have him here, as we are every tutor in the kitchen. It's going to be complete madness, though, but I'm sure you're going to go home having an absolute hoot. But he's got so many things to show you. I think it's going to be a long day, so make sure that you don't arrange to leave early because he's like he sent me a whole list of stuff that he wants to teach you and i'm like oh okay um we've got georgie Gottbold in the kitchen for three days at the end of the month georgie is fabulous to know her her teapot class is full but she's also she's got the unicorn and mermaid class uh, they're both half full so you can get on that again you can do the payment plan if you want to which is brilliant i hope you like that idea natalie porter has put all her classes up go and have a look because before it was just save the date now she's doing three separate classes two of them are actually cake and decorating and everything else the third one is about learning everything about coloring how to make a rose, how to make an a peony, and how to colour, how to blend colours, how to put wire, you know, how to put the wires together, basically taking your time. So for a brand new beginner, it's brilliant for. Um, and also, and also, you know what, some of us who've got some idea, forget Amy, she's a professional layer. But you know, <laughs> some of us who have some idea it'd be brilliant for you as well. And I think the toning, you know, Natalie's sets are brilliant, and um, you know, she shows you how to change those little sets of colours into multicolours because we don't need every colour, we just need a few good colours. Um, Zoe Fancy Cakes is on wet on the line, on, on the website as well. Her classes are on there now. Zoe's cakes, uh, Zoe's models are amazing. We're gonna do the bride and groom. Uh, we've got pink hair here, here, but you can choose any colour hair you want. So, uh, you know, and if you wanna do a dark head groom, you're more than welcome to. If you wanna do big assets, you can. If you wanna do nice body, you can. You can make it very slim, you can make it very chunky. We don't mind how she is, how you want your bride and groom to look. And then we do the basic figures class where you'll make two figures, but if you're good and you speed up, you end up making three. And to be fair, we've done that class two years on the run and everybody's gone home with three figures. But what she does say is she likes to make two because she knows that you'll do that. And then the third one is a bonus, but that definitely is how the day of the class goes, which is fair, isn't it? Yeah. When you do a class, you never know with students, do you, how they are. So um so like and share like i say we're going to do two draws on monday 
And then next week we have got a mad, busy, crazy week. So we've got a live with Molly on um, Monday and then we are packing up our van and getting everything loaded up um, to go up to the northeast on Thursday. So we're doing that on Wednesday. We're going up to the northeast on Thursday to visit Crafter's Companion. Now Crafter's Companion is a craft store. Some of you heard of it, some of you are members already and some of you heard of it through us. And uh, basically, if you're into crafting, they've got everything in their stores. Honestly, it's like it's like Disney World to me. It's got everything in there. So if you want to make your cards, if you want to do your knitting, your sewing, it's just got everything in there, hasn't it? So um, we're doing a Facebook Live with them at four o'clock. Maria and Laura are coming with us, but we will be live on their channel. So we will give you a notification. Um, unfortunately, it is four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so I know some of you are at work or picking the kids up, but do come and watch it afterwards and we will make sure that we share it onto our page. Um, then we are doing uh, two demonstrations. Um, the following day on Friday the 7th. Now the morning class is uh, full and that is at Newton Acliff but the afternoon class has still got places. They're five pounds a ticket and in that class this is what I'm going to show you because so many of you are messaging me now what we're going to do. In all the classes I'm going to show you how to make the buttercream okay uh, and it was funny here the two ladies I had in class on Wednesday are bakers. They bake that's their business professional bakers they didn't make buttercream that I make and the way I make it and I call it a simple buttercream recipe but when they actually saw the way I did it they went "Ooh, right this is good um, so we're going to make the buttercream we're going to show you how to bag up the nifty nozzles how to two-tone triple tone how to uh, decorate the cupcakes and how to put it in one of those lovely bouquet boxes uh, we're also going to be taking up bundles of sugars, colour splash with us. We can't take the shop with us because it is Crafter's Companion. So we're just taking a few things along with us. You don't have to buy anything, but if you do, it will be brilliant. It'll be going through the Crafter's Companion till and they'll have it on their website as well. So we've got two um, demonstrations there on the Friday. We come back home down north on the Friday because Maria and Laura, believe it or not, would like to go home and have a weekend at home. Uh, we get back in our own beds, but we are up early. I think it's five o'clock in the morning while we get ourselves over to Chesterfield and we're taking Karen with us. Um, Karen's going to come and she's like my little buttercream queen. She makes up any extra buttercream I need or does all the washing up for me. She's brilliant. Um, so she's going to come along with us to Chesterfield and we're doing two demonstrations there. Um, and again, I think the class is there. Uh, I think one class is nearly full or full and the afternoon class is filling up nicely. So again, £5 a ticket. And I do believe, I think Danielle Critch is popping in to see us there. Um, and then the following week, on the Monday, so we come home on the Saturday, I've got a day's peace and quiet on the Sunday, and then I've got an early start because I'm off down to Basingstoke, and we'll be doing our live in Basingstoke from the baked in kitchen. So you don't need to go anywhere, you can stay and watch it on our page, but uh, we'll be streaming it on from them, and then we'll share it onto our page, or we'll invite you over to the Baked In and have a look over there. So I'm not quite sure what we're doing with those guys, but any of you who um, buy the Baked In subscriptions, I call them the Baked In Boys, and uh, we invited them up here about 18 months ago and they did a fabulous live with us. And they do those boxes, those subscription boxes, and every month it's a different cake or something you make, and then you just have the butter or whatever else you need to it. A bit like, um, a bit like a, I don't know, but they're great. Anybody who's got them, tell them how great they are. And it's really, everybody likes to keep it as a surprise as well. So we'll be revealing their new box and or, or getting ready for something that they're doing, not quite sure. We'll involve our stuff in there as well, just as I'm wagging my camera around. And then I'm traveling back home on the Tuesday. Then I've got a class on the Wednesday. And <laughs> on the Wednesday, I've got a class on the Wednesday 19th of February, I'm looking forward to seeing you all, it's a very busy class, so um, I'll have loads of energy, um, so we're doing that class, you'll get to meet Karen because she'll be my assistant on the day, and then I don't know what we're doing then after that, I just know it's very busy, and then I have to prepare myself for Michael coming, because he's going to be here for six days, which is why he's now doing three classes, we've got to keep him occupied, and then on the 24th of February, I am leaving Maria, Laura and Karen to look after you. So they are going to be hosting the live on the Monday, the 24th, with Michael. It's going to be hilarious. You're going to have loads of fun. I won't be watching. I have promised my children it's my birthday week and they're taking me away to Centre Parks. So uh, they, I have promised I will not take my computer. It's here. 
I won't take my iPad, it's there, and Maria and Laura are going to need it, so I'll have to watch it when I come back. Um, so they're going to do the live on the Monday and they're going to do the live on the Thursday. Um, I'm not quite sure who's in on the Thursday who's going to be the guest. Is it going to be Laura? No, it's going to be me. Oh, it's you? On the 27th. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's Maria. I don't even know why I said Laura. I know it's you. So Maria is going to show you at a much slower pace how to do her macarons. Mm -hmm. She did show you at Christmas, but by God, we had to really speed up that... Um, admin session so she's going to go through it slowly go through the recipe she's going to do that so we've got two fantastic lives and then we have emily coyle in for her kit for her class on the first of march on the sunday but it's fully booked so go and have a look at our classes and uh, go and have a look at our classes because you're going to love them and the fact that you can pay payments is brilliant so maria do i need to answer any questions yes actually denise is asking if you have ever thought about going on tour to customers workshops and doing a demo for people in that area because she has a workshop and she will be happy to let you the workshop. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm more than happy to go on work on tour on uh, two workshops and do demonstrations, but it needs to because people have asked me, will I go here, there, and everywhere? I can't drag all my stuff with me, so it would have to be that I would have to tell them just like Amy does. She's coming here. All the tutors are coming here. I have to get everything in for them because you can't lug it around in your suitcases you've had to fly down so and it becomes very tiring so if anybody has got a proper workshop um i will fit it in but i can't fit anything in until after september <laughs> sorry <laughs> after september but i will look at it absolutely what else am i going to do um so next week as i say we've got molly robbins in and on thursday i know i haven't done the red velvet cakes because we missed it last night but on thursday i'm scheduled to do a carrot cake so <laughs> If you can see Maria now, Maria tells me what I've got to bake. So, but we will get the red velvet cakes in. But next Thursday, it will be a carrot cake with a cream cheese topping using the flavoured icing sugar. So we'll do that. Anything else that I need to say, Maria? Look at this, we have a list. Wait. So, <laughs> the only thing that I'm going to say is if you want to, my brother to come to our Facebook Live, you need to keep asking because at the moment he's not Oh, did they want James here? Yes. <laughs> Listen, it's done. I'll tell him I'm the boss. Yes, Don't you worry. Boss. I will give that announcement to him on Monday. <laughs> you want James here? Tell me you want James here on this live and James will be here. Do not worry about it. All I need to do is say, see, the demand. So he'll be here as well, which will make it a great night and even more funny because I won't be here. So I'll have no idea what you're all getting up to. So I think I need to get on, let Amy get on with her demo. And I'm on camera tonight, so hopefully I don't get it all wrong. But um, I'll do my best. I'm a little bit scared. But uh, I'll see you later. Don't forget to like and share. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll make a start. So obviously there's two different types of hydrangeas. Um, these are cutters from my own range. So tonight we're using the single petal cutter. Do you want to tell them where they can buy them from, Amy? Yeah, so you can buy them from my website, which is www.couturewedingcakes.co.uk. Um, we also have the veiners. So this is a single hydrangea petal veiner. Um, I use these quite a lot now. I've got two sets. So there's one set on the website, which is the actual whole flower head, which has got the four petals. Um, but I prefer to use the single one because you can see... Can you see that petal? Um, sorry. Go on. <laughs> I can now. Yeah, so you can see they're quite big. I'm like... Being now <laughs> the other way. <laughs> the other way. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that the flowers themselves are actually quite big so they fill up quite a lot of space on a wedding cake they are stunning yeah they are nice and obviously we've made them nice and bright and blue tonight um, just so that you can see the patterns of the veining and stuff on them um, generally when you see bunches of hydrangeas you've got a big hydrangea head and they, they, they can have anything from like six seven um, actual flowers on it to up to like 20 so it depends on how big you want to go um obviously if someone's having just hydrangeas on their cake then you want to make that bunch as bigger so i've just done a i haven't done a huge bunch today <laughs> um so it's just i've pretty much organized because i know that last time we ran on for 
probably which felt like four days for some people. <laughs> Can I just tell you, we have told Amy it's only going to be a one hour live. Yeah. But I have told her she needs to show you how to cover a dummy, yes. luster it, <laughs> put some drip on and paint it. Yeah. <laughs> And I actually said I'll help paint it for her, but I forgot I was on the camera. Yeah, she lied. <laughs> she lied. So, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start. So, um, you can see here we've got a veining board which can be bought from Sugar and Crumbs. It's got all your different sized veins here. Generally, when I'm using it, I literally turn it this way and I just roll and roll. So, I've got loads of vein and done, and then you can get loads of petals at the same time. I have got some ones that are pre-made for me putting together to show you. So the colour that I have used here is Colour Splash. And this is a light blue. <laughs> yeah, that's a shocking picture. <laughs> <laughs> so I have literally used not even a pin size amount of this because obviously you're not wanting it to be like dark dark blue because when you have blue hydrangeas generally like the petals um themselves are quite pale the inside is quite dark and you're going to achieve that dark in the inside by dry dusting and it's amazing how nice that um color splash color is isn't yeah, it yeah i mean yeah. like i say that is just the tiniest tiniest amount there um even the side of caution it's better to have too little than too much so I'm just going to move this to one side. This was my so just to let you know, the veining boards, we did have six in stock. And then Amy told me she needed five for the class tomorrow. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We've only got one in stock. So, uh, but I will have some more by the end of next week, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> They're very nice veining boards. Yeah, they're lovely, aren't they? And they do come with a little gripper mat as well, so they don't Underneath. slip. Yeah, so they don't slip. Okay, so as usual, we've got some treks here. So I use a lot of checks just to kind of keep the paste nice and soft. This is stuff that I pre-coloured earlier on when I was making petals. Okay, so you want it to be quite pliable. Let's get a little bit more in. You want to be shy with the tricks. So to each flower, you've got four petals. So you do have to cut out a lot of petals but oh my god it looks amazing it is so worth all the work and obviously it's the kind of thing where if you need a lot you can do it over a space of time just make your petals in advance store them in a cake box so they don't get dusty or anything so okay so i have just turned the board um vertically i'm having to think about what i'm saying here i'm a little bit tired i've been up since 20 past four this morning so i'm a bit mm. okay do I have my rolling pin? Where did that little rolling pin go? There we go. So, I'm just going to place this in the middle here, like so, and I'm just going to roll it out. Sometimes it takes a wee bit of a minute to stick. So I'm literally just going to show you how to do a couple of petals, just because obviously I was clever and I pre-made some, thankfully, because obviously I've got a lot to do. Thanks, Carol. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so if we just turn this round. So you can see the imprints there, okay? I'll just move this out of the way. So we'll cut out. So you can see in the cutter here, you've got your point here, which is the outside petal in this. Can you pop that on your hand and yeah. lift it up to the camera? Yeah. So which is the point? So that's your outside point here. Yeah. Your bit where you've got your soldered bit where it's joined, that is your inside your point. Right. Okay? Brilliant. Good. So we're just going to cut. A couple. So just to let you know, anything you want to buy, you can buy off the Sugar and Crumbs website. But the cutters and the veiners, you'll buy direct for Amy. These are Amy's own cutters. We don't stop them, okay? So these are the ones that she's had made herself specially for herself. And she um, stocks the veiners as well. I have tried to get older the veiners. They're from Squires, but they don't seem to have any in when I go to buy them. <laughs> Maybe yeah, because Amy's bought them all. Yeah, I probably. <laughs> I generally, when I put an order in, I do have to wait. Yeah. Um, right, can you stop it and send some my way then? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what I've got here is I've got some white wires. These are 20... Oh. Four gauge. You'll have to bear with me. I'm gonna. I'm like really. I've got some edible glue. So what we're gonna do is I've cut these wires. I cut. I normally cut them into four, and we're just gonna insert them here into this veined part. 
and we'll just a little bit of glue and you want to insert it just about a third of the way in. If you do see the little camera in the shot it's only Maria she um, does the one minute videos for you so don't worry and um, it's just that she's trying to get in as close as she can so that she can make you a beautiful video uh, of how to make this put this together okay so now that you've got that wires in you're then going to take your ball tool so what when you're doing this what i'm doing is i am thinning the edges so i'm obviously running the ball tool over the paste and the edges i'm not trying to spread these petals out and make them any bigger or anything like that so i don't you know don't go mental and like make them can i just the stop size. you a minute right i've just been told that it's poor camera work we want to see so I have to apologise and I'm just going to grab Maria for something. I am trying my hardest, okay? I've never done the cameras before. So what I need to do is if we do that, I think I extended it. Just a little, little practice. Oh, and then, so right. So is that the best we can get? Yes. Right, okay then. So we're going to keep on you there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No bother. So. Sorry, let me push this a bit here. Do you think that's better? Yeah, uh, just a bit further up if we can, yeah. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> Sorry, Amy. You need like a masking tape line here. But now you can't put here. your head under the camera. Yeah, yeah. a masking tape <laughs> line here. <laughs> yeah. So you need um, spaghetti arms. Yeah, so you've got to stand up straight and do that, Amy. Don't yeah. pop your head under the camera. So sorry about the camera skills, but it is me tonight. Um, John couldn't do the camera skills tonight because of football. And um, it is Friday night, so I couldn't ask Maria Laura either. And I'm very lucky that Maria offered to come in. So do be patient. <laughs> So we're just kind of thinning these edges because you don't want thick petals because they never look pretty if they're thick. Don't worry about the seam that we've got in the middle because when you use the veiner it disappears. Okay, so once you've done that, then you want to take your veiner. Now this is a Squire's Kitchen Vayner and you're just going to push hard. There we go. And lift that out. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, a bit higher. Yeah, and just towards you a bit. Uh, Do you want to that way. the camera? Oh yeah, we could do it with this one. Oh yeah, great. Just one second. There we go. Far better. There you go. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. And does it have a vein on the other side as well? It sure does. Do you want to flip it over in front of the camera so they can see? I just did. I know, but they, it, I, oh, I was I, on okay. this camera. Yeah, there we go. Super duper. Okay. Was that close enough, everybody? <laughs> just making sure I don't get my hands ruffled again. So what I'm doing now <laughs> is I'm just going to, because obviously it's quite flat, and I, like when you see hydrangeas, they're, they're a little bit, I like to say they're fluffy. They're not fluffy, but they've got a little bit of movement about them. So I'm just taking the smaller end of the ball tool and just going over these edges here, and it just kind of lifts it up a little bit. There we go. So we'll just do the same with the other one. So remember, you need four of these per flower. So worth it though. So what you want to do is you want to put these um, to one side to dry. I like to leave them to dry overnight if possible, just so that they really firm up. Um, so we'll put these to one side. So four, you need four of them per flower. Now I'm going to show you how to make the centers. So I'm going to use this camera here because it's quite... So the centers of the hydrangea, if you look at hydrangea, um, the centers are tiny. They're yeah. so small. I've seen people make hydrangeas and they've made their centers and they literally look like they've got somebody's molars in the middle of their hydrangeas. It looks like a tooth because <laughs> they've made it like too big. It just looks awful. So I will show you here. Can you see that? Yeah, we can. I'm just so you can see the size bit. of it compared to like my nail, how yeah. small that is. Brilliant. It is very important that you have these really small. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit of, so I've made them white but I'm going to use the blue paste, there's no point in wasting it because we're going to be dusting it anyway so it makes no odds. 
That's a good thing to know, isn't it? You go to the trouble of making it white. Yeah. And you may as well, you, you, like you say, you're going to dust it anyhow, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> it's going to be blue anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. So, just a small ball of paste. Okay. I'm just put this down. So again, we've got these 24 gauge wires. I have used my snippers and I have created a little- Right, can you do that on where that ball is? Sorry, because I've zoomed in. There oh. you go. Because it lets show there, yeah. Yeah, okay. so you can see the little hoop. Yeah. So that acts as like an anchor for the actual paste. I've zoomed right in where you are there, so we'll keep okay. everything there for a minute. Knee bowler. So I'm just gonna put this to one side, take a little bit. So it's, the paste is nice and warm, it's not going to crack or anything like that because obviously I've been working it in my hands. Roll it into a ball. So it's one wire per petal, isn't it? And yes. you use a veiner on both sides, yeah. Yes, and then this is for the centre buds. You don't need to loop your uh, wires for your petals, just for your centre buds. Yeah. Okay. Super. So I'm just going to dip this in the glue. And then I'm going to insert it into the ball. Okay, so what we're then going to do is you're going to use your forefinger and your thumb and you're just going to start circling. Sometimes you get a bit of glue in your fingers, just wipe it off. I'm all scared now, I've been told off. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I meant to say, Sam, can you see? Because you can watch right on down, by the way. Bring your chair, you can actually come and sit as far as this camera. So what I'm doing, as you can see here, is I'm working the paste down. Because literally we're only using a tiny bit of what we actually put on the wire in the first place. And as you work it down, you can slide it down and slide the excess off. Oh, that's neat, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Keep going. Okay. So then effectively what you end up with is like a tiny cotton bud. Yeah. Shape. Can you see some? Yeah, I can see. I was going to say otherwise I'll get around the spark through there. Okay, once Super. you've got this shape, you then want to take, this is a knife tool-ish, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So what you're going to do is you're going to go from one side to the other. So you're just going to create a line. I'm very conscious that I'm not putting my big fat head in the... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They don't, don't like realise yeah. realize how hard it is, is it? It's, like, it's hard for us all. And you know what, guys? So so many of you are so good, but you do have to remember we are not the BBC, ITV, Channel Four, Star, <laughs> Virgin, and any other TV company that may be offended because I didn't mention them. So <laughs> <laughs> Can you see this here, Karen? Hold on. Yeah. It looks like literally like a little bum yeah <laughs> so what you're gonna then do is once you've got that and i've went all the way down the sides here as well and here you're then going to turn it around and you're going to do the same again on the right. opposite side to give you a nice yeah can you come wait 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 wait, wait. wait come near the camera there you go right now do it there uh, what? <laughs> oh my god okay <laughs> opposite side yeah and then what you can do is you can just push your knife in just to create the little indents so these I normally make these in advance um, and I have them sitting in a little jar um, and they again need to be sat overnight yeah so you can see yeah it looks fab isn't it it's so easy to do yeah it's so easy, so it's easy. fast, it isn't it? Is. But it's only easy now we know. Yes. It wasn't easy before. So Maria, I've got to knock something and knocked off a bit of something. <laughs> bit of technical stuff, sorry. Thank goodness for Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, so once you've done all your petals and you've done your centers and let them dry, you then have to tape them together, which is exciting because then they start to look like really come to life. So I'm just going to... Which camera are you going to be on? This one here at the front or the one over the head? Um, which do you prefer? Head, please. Right. Because then I can hold it up like this. Yes, that was good. Like yes. Okay, so... 
We have some nice dark green tape. We've also got this tape cutter. All of this can be bought at Sugar and Crumbs. The blades inside are like really super sharp. I learned yeah. that today. <laughs> <laughs> when I sliced my finger. <laughs> so, the reason that we're using this um, cutter is it thins the tape down and I find that even you use it, your, your tape's not so bulky. Like it makes it more like an actual, you know, what's the word I'm waiting for? I can't even function. If it's, you don't want it bulky because it's like a, a flower stem and if I have it too bulky, it doesn't look right. No. I know what I'm trying to say, it's yeah. just not coming out. Don't worry. No. The main thing I want them to know is to be careful because you can yes. put your fingers very easily. Yes. So you're oh. just going to thread this through. Keep like. it out of children's way. Very much so, because that blades are like ridiculously yeah. sharp. Yeah. And you can cut it into, can you cut it into half and, and also into threes? I don't know. I, I think you can. Can you? I, I, I might be wrong, but I thought you could. I think I've seen it. But yeah. I Is there three blades in there? There's three. Yeah, so I think you can press it so you can cut it into half and then into three, or into three. Well, we're just going to cut forever. Here we go, Luke. Whatever comes out. Aye. <laughs> so we're cutting in fours. Oh, right, there you go. Oh, look at that. I didn't know about fours. <laughs> Let me know. Can you? That's a bit special. <laughs> there we go. So we'll just we tear some of this off. There we go. Out the Okay, so we'll take one of the centers that I done earlier. Put that to one side. So what you want to do is you want to bend your petals. Now when you're bending, always grab at the base of the petal and hold on because you don't want to snap anything. So if I'm not answering or reading all the comments, I'm now actually probably going to give John a break when he comes back into the sugar and crumbs kitchen because <laughs> I probably won't ask him anymore what he's doing. I can just let him get on with it. <laughs> so if I don't answer your questions, it's not because I'm ignoring you. I'm just trying to keep up. <laughs> so not, you're not multitasking, are you? <laughs> right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the first two together so they're going opposite sides of each other. Like so. So we've got the center right down at the base of the petals, okay? We're then gonna start taping. So I find the easiest way, I find the sticky side first. Here we go. Did you explain how the sticky side is? What you've had to do to stretch yeah, you, it? Yeah, so you stretch the tape out and then that releases the glue. I'll get Amy to show you in a minute close up. So you can see that I've taped slightly um further down than what the actual petals are. What I then do is I then push it up. And then it stops you, you can wrap it around a couple of times and it stops you from breaking petals. Top tip. Good, we like top tips. Yeah. So, what you then want to do is you want to attach your other two petals. So you're going to do them one at a time and they're going to sit underneath this two, which we have slightly sitting slightly higher up. So these are going to just slot in here. Like so, as close as you can get it. Uh, so I've just been given some information here. If you want to do half width, you remove some of the blades. Oh, oh well, there you go. Yeah. That to me sounds like hard work. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like hard work. I'm just putting this other petal in at the opposite side. I'm just going to run this tape around. So um, we just want to know what your website address is, Amy, so that they can buy the cutters. Yeah, it's www couturewedingcakes.co.uk So the cutters, um, Sugar and Crumbs do not sell the cutters and we've tried to get hold of the banners but every time I've tried to get hold of them there's never been in stock so I now know why because Amy has them all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So um, you can buy the cutters and banners from Amy and all the rest of the tools we sell on the Sugar and Crumbs website. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move, gently move these petals. You can gently That's manipulate beautiful. them. So at the minute, I mean, it looks nice, right? But it's quite plain. It's, you know, it's quite flat looking. So what we're then going to do is we're going to start to dust. And it's, it's really, really going to bring yeah. this flower up to kind of the next level. Okay. So. Question. Can you dust before you put them together? You can dust before you put them together. I don't dust before I put together for the simple reason is 
sometimes the petals just don't look right once you've dusted them it's better to have them together as a flower um, and then work the dust in that way it makes them a little bit more realistic can you use 26 inch gauge wire 26 gauge wire um, you could use 26 gauge wire for these, really? yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're individual and you're grouping them together, so that'll make them kind of stronger. Yeah. Um, Did you pass me my kitchen What you must be for? Kitchen they can all hear you. <laughs> 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 they can all hear you. Yeah. <laughs> they're all watching you. I know. <laughs> you kind of forget, don't you? Yeah. I don't actually know how many people are watching actually either. 297. Oh, I, I, I can't go there. <laughs> I'm trying to watch the cameras and look at my phone. <laughs> it's too technical then. <laughs> right. So which camera are we on now? Are we back on down there? Up, Up there? there yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Right. So Brilliant. move it further in. Towards you. Move you. It towards your, your hydrangea. Your bouquet. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh my god. Right, so yeah. colours. Yeah. I'm oh, using um fractal colours. Yeah. These are like my new favourites. Absolutely love them. They're really, really um nice concentrated bright dusts yeah these, we love fractal yeah you can buy them all at sugar and crumbs these are my favorites so yeah. for the actual dusting of these um flowers i always like to mix dusts up i don't just use one color um i mix them up and then you just kind of see what you get it's a nice surprise right. <laughs> so we've got a little mix of robin egg blue also azure is that how you say that azure? yeah azure okay and then so, we've also got a tiny wee bit of Bishop Purple. Oh, that's quite a random yeah. name, isn't it's it? Uh, Maria, can I borrow you again? Sorry, guys, I've just done something to the camera. <laughs> so I did that. She's sacked. It's <laughs> just that you, you suddenly became illuminated. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you became whiter and white and nearly a ghost. And I'm oh. not quite sure what I did. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry for my camera skills. I'm going to get sold off again. Right. Got greasy hands from the tricks. Right. Yeah, thank you. So, so you'll notice that I'm not using a paint palette. I have my reasons. Um, paint palettes I use for wet painting, but when it comes to dusting, I always use a little bit of um, kitchen roll just because, oh look at that blue. Let me just go to that, just one second. Right, so just to give you the good news, we're out of stock of Azure, but we will be having it back in in the next 10 days. Uh, we did a sale um, of the Fractal Colours. The sale's only just finished, and you lucky ones who got it, I've got loads of it. So anybody else who wants it, write the name down, and I'll have it back in stock. It will take me about 10 days to get it back in, because it comes direct from Hungary. Ah. Yeah, so anyway... Let's talk kitchen roll. So there is method for the kitchen roll. I know that like a lot of people use their paint palettes. I use paint palettes when I'm like using um, wet paint. But for dust, I like to use kitchen roll because obviously it's good for wiping your brushes on and tidying them up and getting them clean and stuff in between um, dusting the petals. I'll show you why. No, sorry, I've got to open the door because I'm having a hot moment. Oh, are you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> actually, I just thought I could actually take my clothes off behind the camera. Nobody would know. <laughs> don't let your we imagination. Know, <laughs> don't let your imagination go too wild. It's not a pretty sight, but I am so hot. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. So, got a selection of brushes. Um, these ones are all quite soft brushes. I don't like brushes that are too flat. Um, and it's square because you don't get a nice dust in with them so I've just picked out the fluffiest ones that Carol's got in her cupboard so what I'm going to use we're going to start so what we're going to start with is we're going to use a mix of these two blues here am I in shot Carol is that okay yeah? you are in shot I've got you perfectly okay so we're going to use a mix of these two here we're going to do the outside and then we're going to work up the way because what you'll find is if you work, start at the bottom and work up, the colour lightens, um, which is how the flower looks naturally. We're then going to go in then with the purple after that. So I'll just show you how. I've got to laugh. Come back, John. All is forgiven. Thanks, Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maureen. <laughs> in fact, I forgive John. I'm going to keep my big gob shut in future. <laughs> Going in, starting in the middle, working our way out. Alice Norton says if you use greaseproof paper, 
Um, it works too, and you use less dust. Oh, didn't know that. Maybe okay. probably because whatever's left, you could probably pour back into a separate pot with a new blend. Yeah, I just try not to put too much. Isn't out. that beautiful? Wow, everybody, doesn't that look beautiful? So we've got a fabulous audience, a well over 300, which is brilliant for a Friday night. I'm really very pleased with that. So well done, everybody, for joining us on a Friday night. We'll have to get the husbands to watch football every Friday, won't yeah, we? Yeah, for sure, for <laughs> sure. So obviously you've got like these petals under here, so you can just gently push these back just to get these little corners in. Oh, look at that, yeah. Because that sort of finishes off the detail, doesn't it? Yeah, you don't want to have any bits that's not got colour on. Again, we'll do the same up there. And I'm just mixing the two. I always err on the side of caution. Well, they're all saying it's stunning from what they can see so far. And if you stay in that position all night, Amy, I won't need to worry about anything. So just a little note, um, somebody has told us that you're out of stock of your cutters. Oh, oh well that's fine. Uh, uh, Hydrangea veiners you're out of stock of, sorry. Okay, Yeah. I will need to get them ordered then. Yeah, so don't worry, great. But you know this, you know, this live is going to stay on YouTube. So it's here on Facebook, it will stay on YouTube. So you can go and buy them when they're back in stock. For sure, for sure. So I'm just going in now with the purple and I'm just going to go in for the little center bud here just to darken it a little bit. I don't want it to be like so too purple, I just want a hint. It looks beautiful. Yeah. It looks stunning. It's nice if you do the white hydrangeas and have the like the centers with the green. You know, like how when you can get them and they're just newly open. That's nice as well. I just love hydrangeas. Fave flower ever. I'm just lifting that up again just to get under. That looks here. stunning. you and want to do once you've done the petals on there so they're asking is it for hydrangeas the uh, veiner or or can you use it as a generic veiner um you could use it for, for whatever you want i mean to be honest with you i would probably use it for like orchids and stuff as well i'm very much like i don't have loads and loads of veiners i use like a veiner to do like 50 different things do you know what i mean if you yeah. don't need to spend the money then don't spend it yeah so so once you have um, put this little bits of purple in here, you're then going to go around these edges here. And it is literally just a little cover. And it just makes them pop. It's amazing, just that little bit of added detail there. I've tried to get it in on the camera. I know we're in that bottom left hand corner, but it's about as more as I can zoom in without having Amy nearly breaking her back, falling <laughs> over. If you can move your hands a little bit towards your big hydrangea bouquet, <laughs> it, it, to the paper in the middle, you know where the blue powder is there, perfect. That's absolutely perfect. And then I can zoom in a little bit more, thank you very much. There you go. As it's a football weekend, we can call it a girls' night. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. There we go. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> so obviously, you can add that to your bouquet. That's stunning. Just hold that together there, Amy. Just let me bring it. That's absolutely stunning. Do you want to bring that over to the other camera here? Which one? This one? This one here. Down a bit. Wow. What do you think of that, everybody? Is that not stunning? That's absolutely stunning. So I love it. I, I even, I'm scared of doing flowers. And I've, I've said oh, to Amy on her class this week, um, I wouldn't mind having a go. Yeah, you 
easily manage And then she said to me, I brought you some cutters, Carol. And I went, I think you can take them back. I'm scared. <laughs> but I think I'll give that a go because I love hydrangeas. So I think I'll give that a go. Yeah. So I've got this big leaf cutter here, which I don't have on my website at the minute. But um, I sell them. Do you? Yes, I do sell oh, them. Oh, well, there you go. So the big leaf cutter there, um, I do sell them. They're fine cuts, are they? No, or is that on your own? That's... Um, Right, well, mine are fine cuts. And they, mine are fine cuts, and they're absolutely beautiful. They're made in Great Britain. They got a fantastic reputation. They are lovely, and they come in a set of nine or twelve. I think they do. This they're worth every single penny. Yeah. Um, they actually do love hearts. I've got I've got a sunflower. I've got a, a garret frill, a jigsaw puzzle. I've got a, quite a few of them. Um, go and have a look at them on fine cuts. Okay, so I'll just show you, I mean, leaves are pretty standard, aren't they? I'll just show you how to do one. Um, when you've got a hydrangea head, they quite often have like a couple of big floppy leaves on them. Yeah. So if you've got like, these are, I'm sure these is, this is a large rose petal cut. Right, just show which camera you're going to show that to. Hold on. Yeah, it's a, we've got that as a rose leaf yeah. cutter. But it does so. the exact same job for the hydrangeas because they're yeah. very similar. Yeah. You so, can use them, yeah, can't you? Yeah. 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 Unless you're going down the botanically correct route, yeah. <laughs> just yeah. use whatever. Um, I will tell you, if um, Amy is out of stock, we do do an FMM uh, veining leaf set. And uh, in there, it's got four <laughs> different leaves in there, and that would be excellent as well to use. And they are in stock on the website as well. And as I say, the fine cuts, cutters are the leaves. And, um, and we've got rose petals as well. That they're, they're absolutely beautiful sets. So we're using right. the vein and board again. I've got some Squires Kitchen Eucalyptus, pre-mixed. I'm just softening it up because it's quite hard. So we're just gonna place this in the middle. Oh, out. I love that eucalyptus colour. Yeah, it's ace. Somehow managed to get dust on that. It's <laughs> all right. Okay, maybe take the way. So you're making sure that your vein parts in the center. saying I'll be hooked once I get into it yeah I do like I do like them I've had a go at doing them but then it, it's a time I yeah. lose the will to live yeah but I like those hydrangeas I think I could knock a few of them up <laughs> 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 so this is just um, a 24 gauge wire again and I'm just gonna insert that into the center here putting it in a little bit higher just because obviously it's a big petal Okay. And anybody who doesn't know what the veining board for, it's to give you that extra um, thickness on the leaf there so that you can have, you've got the space then to be able to push yes. your wire in. So again, we're just going to thin the edges here. So we just... You can just push your board up towards your bouquet. There you go. So we don't have to go too mad. I'm then going to vein it. Let's go that way. So this is a Squires veiner again. So the Squires veiner, you can buy them off Amy's website. I'm not sure whether she's in stock or not in stock. I'm confused now with what people are saying. Um, I don't sell them myself. I do sell the FMM ones. Um, I believe they're just as good. Yeah. But um, it's entirely up to you guys. So Amy's just showing you what she uses. If Natalie Porter was here, she'd be showing you what she uses, which is FMM. So, <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? It's, it's what everybody likes, horses, isn't, it? isn't it? It's like what wishing up liquid you like, isn't it? Or yeah. toothpaste. So <laughs> as long as they work, that's the main thing. So what I'm doing is I'm just going over this edge again and if you go over ever so slightly it just kind of 
brings up it looks beautiful bit. yeah it? it gives it like a like a little bit of movement you know it's not flat you don't want it flat now can i just stop there now that that there is what i love because i've explained what the veining board is for leslie smith said that now makes sense <laughs> you push the wire in the vein gotcha common sense <laughs> but the thing is you don't know no, i no. know when i first came into the business i thought why has it got them lines on yeah, there i didn't know until last yeah. week <laughs> until last week <laughs> so there you go <laughs> yeah so what i'm going to do with this is i'm just going to move this out of the way so don't make that all dirty and we'll just use a little bit of dust so this is can you push the, that up to your pink board yeah this no, you leave. Oh, sure. Yeah. So that people can see it? Yeah. Yeah, but further back. So if you can come up to your other pink board, slide up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Brilliant. Great. Right, see next time I'm down, <laughs> I'd like a masking and then can tape you go line <laughs> here, so I've got no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is Fractal. Yeah, super. Grass green. Do you put the dark chocolate? We put the dark chocolate on. Didn't we didn't know about okay. it, but we can put it on. Yeah, well, okay. Oh, it's out of stock. Yep. Okay, cool. But it, we do do a dark chocolate from Rainbow Dust. Do you? Which is lovely as well. Yeah, okay. So we've got this grass green here. So I'm just going to pull over the kitchen wall. Okay. So. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to start from the inside. So just let me interrupt again. Leslie, we can only see your comments once, so it is your appliance. Off you go, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie's just having a moment. She can see all the comments twice. Oh. But everybody's going, no, only you, just you. Oh. <laughs> so. <laughs> so there's no hard and fast way when it comes to the, the leaves. I just do whatever. They're different every time. <laughs> so my Fractal order will be in. So she's using the dark brown from Fractal, which is amazing colours. But we also have a dark brown from Rainbow as well, which is lovely. I've got to laugh there. Alison Posey Shedwick says uh, she's laughing. She's laughing. What do what is I M A L mean? I don't, I know what the A means. I am, I am. I, what does that, what that, that abbreviation word, I am, A, O mean, when they do a short word. Anyhow, laughing her, it's not head off. Is that her So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, she bought a veining board a while ago and had and not used it. She had absolutely no idea what to do with it until tonight. <laughs> and now she feels so thick, so she's just nipping off to dig it out of the cupboard and blow <laughs> off the dust. <laughs> but I think we all do that. We buy these things thinking we need it, and then you suddenly go, Ooh, Yeah. How can I roll out on this? <laughs> so, what I'm doing with this is I'm just using the dark brown just to weather the edges a little bit. And everyone is, oh, they are Jane Temple, spelt it out for me. Well done, Jane. It's A S S. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone is loving the live, Amy, so well done. Good shout. Yeah, good shout. Good shout. So is anybody watching tonight who's coming to the class this weekend? Because it's going to look amazing. Yeah, it's going to be busy. Yeah, it's going to be busy. Well, there we are. We're getting it in, we're getting it, uh, in full now. <laughs> <laughs> is it afternoon or Yeah. yeah. One minute past, you just made it. <laughs> Sorry, I've still got the door open because I'm hot. <laughs> and don't worry, it's not the police after us. Our road is the link to the hospital. Happy days. So normally you would dust yeah. these when they're dry. That looks beautiful. Um, but obviously we don't have that luxury tonight. No. Because it got to the stage where I was like, I need a disco nap, I can't make another thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, do forgive Amy, just let me cut this on the camera. Um, isn't that beautiful? How lovely is that? Very realistic. So I've just got the camera back on you, Amy. So do forgive Amy. Amy has been up since half past four this morning. 
and we have um john is team. now so sorry i got to interrupt john is laughing his head off because he's just texted me to say he's seen the comment <laughs> he said i've just seen the it's a great audience tonight well done i've just seen a comment come back john he said and then he has said a very naughty word because it's after nine are you in the cameras it begins with s <laughs> Yes, I am in the S with cameras. <laughs> I have been told off, John. <laughs> well, you can come and start watching football. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to tell him yes, get in here. <laughs> right, I'm just going to wipe this board down so that we can cover this dummy. So don't forget to like and share, everyone, to be in with a chance to win £25. Um, like and share, and this draw will be done on Monday, not Thursday, because we're up at Crafter's Companion. Um, that is up at Newton Aycliffe, and Maria's just come to help me find the little bit. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Maria. <laughs> so funny, isn't it? So, let's get this dummy covered. Oh, yes, we're on the dummy now, aren't we? Yeah. Right, okay then. So, which camera She's am I going to use? She's making me graph tonight. Yes. <laughs> She sure is. Okay, so. Dummy. Right, just let me go here. There we go. Yep, super. Yeah, so I've already punctured a hole in it for sticking the um, sugar flowers right. in. Um, just one second, stop a moment. Because I need to get that off. There you go. I need to get <laughs> that off. I'm just moving some things off so we can see the side camera. But I just need to find out where they are. Sorry, guys. Camera issues. There we go, off, because I want to be able to see the side camera. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So, um, I've punctured a hole in this dummy already, just because it will, anyone that works with dummies knows that they're an absolute pain in the bum when it comes to sticking in your sugar flour. So if you pre-puncture your hole, that sounds rude, um, then it's all good. There's lots of language going on here today. <laughs> I'm being educated. Like, oh now, God. being a woman who likes to use language, <laughs> <laughs> I do have a second language, which can be choice at times. Sure. So, right, so let me just get on this camera. And if you come down. So, we are going to use plus, Select Island, Platinum. Is it? No, it's the Ivory one, isn't it? It's the Select. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to use ivory and it's fabulous. Not sure if any of you used ivory before, but it is very, very good from Select Island. Um, I haven't got white in. I've spoke to the, and Amy can vouch for this, I have spoke to them. They are moving factories, but they have got a load coming out to me on Monday and it will be with us on Wednesday. So, oh, it smells amazing. It smells like, I love this one, but yeah, it's oh, good, isn't it? it? Yeah. Really oh. it yeah, it does it taste really good as well. Yeah. I don't want to put it this bar, So I'm this happy. is the normal select. It's not the it's not the Bossinum one, this one, is it? No. No, it's selected. It's the ivory, this. Do you want to see some? Do we have like a big sharp knife just so we do and um, some on the microwave there? There's a box, a wooden box on top of the microwave. I need to be get out a nice big sharp knife. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I like it. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Thank you very much. Oh, it's got like, I think it's got like a fudge, a vanilla fudge yeah. kind of taste about yeah. it, hasn't it? Yeah. It's yummy. So, I'm just going to... Yeah, put all your weight into it, girl. Uh, We're just gonna watch you. Uh, <laughs> Should have got a bigger knife. I know. <laughs> We're just gonna watch you. We're gonna watch you mold it. Now, you know why you're molding it, Amy? Can you just explain to them? Because lots of ladies get air bubbles in their sugar paste. Oh, it's too much it's, kneading. Yes, exactly. And I think it'd be good for you to explain why. Yeah. And I tend to use the green board and don't tend to put any um, corn flour on the board either. Yeah. Because if you don't put corn flour on, it actually works very well on the green board. Yeah. Rather than a normal board. So I'm going to let Amy talk it through to you. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to, you can talk out now why you have to do this bit. Okay. So, so your whole hands are on your camera so they can see everything. Okay. So when you're kneading your sugar paste, obviously if you need too much, 
you're generating air into the paste and then you get loads of air bubbles, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. Um, if you find that your paste is too hard and you, but you don't want to knead it too much, you can give it a tiny wee blast in the micro for a couple of seconds. That does help soften it. Um, if you're struggling with air bubbles, I mean we all get air bubbles, I get air bubbles all the time. Um, I do use acupuncture needles. Yeah, you find them with Amazon. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that totally gets rid of the hole, uh, uh, the, bu the bubble, and it doesn't leave like a big hole. Yeah. So you can see literally that's me needed that piece. Yeah. That's it, that few like, is all it needs. So I think they also get it when they roll it out and then fold it over and then try and roll again and that's where the problems go. Yes. So you'll see on the green board we've not put any cornflour on it or anything. And the reason I want to show this, even though Amy didn't know, is that if you roll out, <laughs> it's not that she didn't know, she didn't know she was going to be telling you. I wanted to show you that while you roll out, watch what Amy does, you'll see she'll roll, she'll pick it up and she'll turn it. She'll roll, she'll pick it up and she will turn it. And that will that is how it goes. So many of you get sugar paste and you just keep rolling it and stretching it and then it's all stuck to the board, okay? So, you know, the, the secret is, is to roll, pick up, turn round. Don't flip over. Roll, pick up, turn round. Yeah, never flip it. Yeah, never flip it over, okay? So there you go. And you keep picking it up like this. And when she's rolled it out, I'm going to get her to get it just to hang off the roller. So you're going to love this one, aren't you, Amy? Mm -hmm. But I will tell you that Amy does love Select Island. I love um, it. Was it us who introduced us to you, or did they to them. I bought it from you. Yeah, you did. So she did buy some from us and then she did it on one of her own lives and they absolutely, and she absolutely loved it. And she rang me, she said, Carol, I've had to tell all my students how great it is. Now this isn't the platinum, this is the select and it does work. There is a thing called user error. We never know what you do in your own kitchen. And this is why I would like to explain how to use it. Um, and Amy can give you any more tips as well. Um, we also do the platinum as well. You'll see that Amy's just picked out a little something there. Don't worry. Sometimes you might get a little uh, something off your board. You know what? Just pick it out and roll over it. You're not going to use all of it. Um, the platinum um, can be rolled even thinner, can't it? Yeah. I mean, I, I like both the pastes, but for me, I like the platinum the best just for the wedding cakes because I, I don't like to put too much sugar paste on because they've got their ganache and stuff. like. And because I'm a little bit stingy, <laughs> you don't have to use so much. But like, but I like, like them both. Further. Yeah, yeah. And then you get a smoother, and you rub over. So these are all techniques that you know. If you if you are rolling sugar paste, some of you've been rolling it for ages. But I do sort of cringe when I see somebody get out the cornflour pouch and they throw it all over the worktop. Or icing sugar, because see Sam's looking very scared at the moment. <laughs> um, and then when you are using corn flour or icing sugar, you are drying out the sugar paste, aren't they, Amy? Yeah, totally. Shall we tell them what they're doing? Um, um, I mean, to be honest, I do use corn flour because I don't have one of these big green work boards. Yes. But I rather think use corn flour than icing sugar. Yeah. I think if you don't have one of these green boards, you do need to use it on your worktop. Yeah. Um, but again, don't go mad. Do you know what I mean? Just keep it and keep the paste moving. Lift it up, turn it round. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. So I'm just using Trex for this dummy. Trex um, is the boy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, Trex is better than water. I have seen people, and I've done it myself, with just a little bit of water on the dummy. But that, I think if you use water, you can create air bubbles as well, can't you? Yeah, yeah. not only that, and then when you come to strip your dummies, if you've used water, they're a nightmare to strip. Whereas yeah. when you've used Trex, you can just slide a knife down and it'll come off really, really easy yeah. and you can reuse your dummies. Yeah. You don't... You I wasn't... Whether, I'm not sure whether you know that, but you know... Um, Dummies you can reuse and reuse. Yeah, you can put in the dishwasher. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, you then, um, you like she said, with a knife, you gently just dig into it, break it, and then start sort of, sort of shaving it off, really. Yeah. And it does come off really easy. And then afterwards, just put your dummy in the dishwasher and it will come up beautiful. Now, I do see and read and I cringe when I see people put the whole dummy in the Hi, dishwasher with the sugar paste on, with, sugar paste oh, on with their buttercream on and that's <laughs> great but the poor machine <laughs> the poor machine must be crying yeah, I and i'm not sure sure if you did any damage to your dishwasher and they knew about it and all that grease down there oh 
um, I, I'm sure you'd invalidate your warranty. But um, let me just see. So what's that weapon you have in your hand there? <laughs> what are you doing with this that with, you, with your apron? Go on, show us again. It's a husband beater. <laughs> a husband beater. <laughs> just see which camera got on so just hang on a minute Amy so Amy I've got you on this camera can you just lift it up there so we can see it all hanged lovely it's not stretching it's absolutely lovely can now just I just need to I'm gonna get the side camera on so I can see how it goes Sorry. on because we haven't pinned the dummy to a board so ideally what you could do with is maybe another dummy with um, some cocktail sticks in put this on over the top uh, but we're going straight on the board hence why Sam had to come into the rescue just to hold it. Yeah, because they move. That's yeah. the thing with the dummies. They do move because um, they're so light. Right. Now, we're on the side camera now, um, um, Amy, so that we can see you. So that camera that's on the side. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is I am securing the paste up at the top here so that it doesn't tear. So I'm just going to go around and do that because that's when people start to get issues and tearing and stuff. Um, and it's a bit of a nightmare. Trying not to pull. And you know, when you're covering your cakes, just take your time. When I first started covering cakes, I have to tell you, I was very much slapdash, you know. I rolled it out and I just threw it over the top, put it down. And I remember the first lady who showed me how to cover a cake, which was Linda Ashcroft from Butterfly Cakes. At, uh, not Butterfly Cakes. <laughs> it's... Um, um, I can't think, up in uh, Buttercup, <laughs> yes. Buttercup Cakes up in Derbyshire there, uh, and I actually got it on, but she was amazed how I got it on, <laughs> but my back was broken and everything, I said, you know what, that'll have to do, so do give yourself a little bit of time, a little bit of patience, it is a skirt, watch what Amy's doing, I might need you to come around this side, because I can't, I'll be on the hook, there, let's have a look, yeah, I can see you there now, so you'll see that she's going round, she's smoothing, and then she's lifting the skirt. Yeah, I've torn it a little bit here, but that's fine. The smoothers will get that out. Yeah. Being half-handed, just the usual big bloody hands. Yeah. And, uh, you know, a lot of it you can sort out. As Amy says, she's just torn it over there, but she'll get it out. And, you know, sometimes you can put a little bit of sugar paste in with just yeah. a bit of water. And you can actually smooth it out. So, um, and I don't know if ever you've seen that method at all, but you know, you can do a lot of things without having to rip it all off your cake. I know, that's a thing where a lot of people, they like maybe rip a bit and then they're like, oh, and they strip the whole thing and really you don't yeah, have to. You don't have to, no, no. And then if in doubt, if you do have a tatty edge at the bottom, buy some sugar, sugar, sugar oh. art, <laughs> ribbons. Hi. <laughs> I'll sell you some of them. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, or a photo cake strip. Or you can have a perfectly positioned flower. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We can make a butterfly. <laughs> yeah. I just need this one just to trim it. Yeah. So I'm not going to mark your board, don't money. No, no, I'm just watching you. Don't forget, I'm watching you. Yeah, so I'm just trimming this round and I'm leaving a gap because you want to flip that over. We're doing the upside down method. I'm being very careful not to cut Carol's board because she's very particular about her boards and knives. Yeah. So this is a really nice comment from um, Alison Hodgson. As a bit of a novice, when it comes to covering with sugar paste, I saw the live when you demoed the Select Island. So she bought it from us. Loved the price and the ease and the results. And then she got a tub of platinum. Game changer. Hi, <laughs> it is a game changer, it really is. So I've got 120 tubs coming on Wednesday. If you want them, you can have them. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got 80 tubs of uh, select coming, 120 tubs of platinum. I will tell you, it is fabulous stuff and very reasonably priced. Right, so I've got a little bit of um, baking paper here. Although it's a, for a tin, isn't it? Cause yeah, so we've got baby. baking paper here because you may have saw a picture earlier in the week where John was taking pictures of the girls. We're working on a new product. <laughs> and it seems, I'll be speaking to the girls on Monday, they must have <laughs> used every scrap of baking paper I had. So when Amy, Amy asked yes. me, could I have, could she have some? Um, we didn't have any. So we are using a 10 inch round. Right. Uh, so, <laughs> <ten> inch round. <laughs> um, I'm getting a seat. 
I'm taking a seat because um, when I'm covering cakes, I always sit down. If you're standing up and you're doing the upside down method, the chances are you're going to put your hands on here instead of your cake and you're going to put your weight on it and then you're going to get a huge lip. And I've done that myself. Yeah. And I, I tell you, I will tell you, I did it on Karen Davis. Karen Davis was here once. And I said, oh, I'll show you this up down, the upside down method. I put all my weight on it. I got um, this big bubble. Yeah. She really thanked me for it. Yeah. Nightmare. <laughs> she was Nightmare. well chuffed just before we went live. <laughs> <laughs> so when I'm um, smoothing out these cakes, I work in three sections. So the first one I'm going to concentrate on is the section around the edge here. You're going to hold your smoother vertically and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fingers on this part the smoother just to push down you know you're putting your weight on here and you're just going to work round. and why so, would you put the weight there because this is the area here that I want to get down to the paper when this area here is flush to this paper you know you've got a straight edge there's no point in me smoothing and smoothing up here with my hands up here because you're smoothing the middle and that's not what we're smoothing at the minute. We're smoothing the top edge, which is obviously on the bottom. So if you put your fingers on and put a little bit of um, pressure on there, you can see that that is starting to come down. And this hand here is literally just keeping this in place. There's no weight going on that and creating a lip. So we're just going round. You can see that edge starting to come down here now. So, it's not quite a sharp edge yet because you can see it's not flush to the paper, but it's down enough for me to move round onto the next bit. I tell you, our audience is growing on YouTube live. We've got 82 on YouTube, which is brilliant. Really? Yeah. On Monday, we have over 100. Ah, fantastic. Yeah, great. So, um, don't forget you can follow us on Facebook every Monday and every Thursday, provided I don't have a migraine again. Uh, but yeah, we've not shortchanged you. We've got Amy here tonight, which is fabulous. And you can also catch up on YouTube and watch us, or you can watch us on YouTube on the night. And um, our audience has started to uh, grow there. Please subscribe to our channel, because if you subscribe, it means that you'll get a notification when we go live. So if you miss it on the Facebook, a notification, you'll always get it via YouTube. All you've got to do is put in an email address. So, the reason we've got the baking paper underneath is so that you can slide the cake round without damaging any of it. So was that the dodgy bit that you ripped there, was it? Yeah, so yes. I'll get to that at the end. Yeah. So you'll see she's not smoothing that over, she's concentrating on the bottom, okay? And you'll see that she's got the dodgy bit there that she'll sort out. And I think we're all familiar with the dodgy bits, don't we? Yeah, we, we all, all get, get dodgy them. bits. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gets dodgy yeah. bits. But the most important thing is, if you get a dodgy bit, don't stress. Don't get be no. like, oh my god. And I think that's the problem. People yeah. do stress. And covering a cake is about taking time. Seriously, this is when you do have to give it some time and some love and some care. But if you want to try and cover a cake, like I try to do in 10 minutes, because I never give it time, <laughs> you will be ripping it all off. Yeah, that's what happens. And throwing it away, it? so don't. Some so, days I can cover a cake really quickly and it comes out perfect and then the next day it takes me ages. Like there's never two days is the same. Yeah. But that's fine. You know, whatever. It all depends on like your temperature, doesn't it? And the, the weather conditions and your mood. This up a little bit. So a lady says she was just about to Google the upside down, a lady called Glad Mac. She was just about to Google the upside down method on YouTube and then spotted this live. Brilliant timing, well done. <laughs> so if you're doing it like um, with an actual cake, I um, normally have like a board. On the top. An acrylic one, yeah. Yeah. So that when you flip it over, it's yeah. like you've got that stability, obviously, especially if you're doing like 12 inches and things yeah. like that. And um, you can use the ganache plates for that, which is what yeah. Amy is saying. We do sell ganache plates. We do two types. We sell one from another company. I can't remember what they're called. And sugar and crumbs ganache balls are on there as well. So if you put in ganache plates, they're called. Um, we've got them in various sizes. They are great. They're handy. And the fact is they're clear, so you can see through them as well, which yeah. is lovely. We like that. Yeah. And that does stop putting your fingers all the way through it. Amy is absolutely right. 
Well, there's nothing worse when you get something perfectly smooth that looks amazing and then you put a big fingerprint in it, it's like so yeah. destroying. Yeah. So, what I'm then going to do is I'm going to take this flat edge of the smoother here and I'm going to run around just to try and get the rest of it. And I'm literally, my hands, my fingers, my two fingers is on here. And I'm not putting any pressure on it because you don't want to give yourself an indent. It's literally, you are buffing. And you know that smooth there, can you just show them there's a straight edge and a round edge, yeah. isn't there? So the straight edge is obviously for the bottom. Okay, yes. so when you, wherever you want it straight, that's where it's for. And these are the smoothers I have at home and yeah. I wouldn't use anything else. And I've no. got loads and loads of smoothers and straight edge things and all the rest yeah. of it and these they, are they're very good they're very strong actually these are fmm smoothers yeah. we do sell them they are on our website and um, they are an absolutely excellent tool fmm do a fabulous range of tools we do stock them all we do stock all pme tools as well so when you do need a dresden tool or a veining tool uh, a ball tool they're uh, amazing tools but we do only stock the fmm and um, smoothing um tool there and it, and it is good and it's strong because so many you use and handle snap so yeah I'm just, just, gonna check, I'm just checking my edges there just, just checking your edge so anybody who's watching see the dodgy bit do not worry we haven't sorted that out yet yeah, I've not gotten to that bit and yet I know everybody will be excited to see it because that's what we all have <laughs> <laughs> yeah dodgy edges are a pain but if you've got the time take the time to do it you'll soon get rid of it So what I'm doing now is I'm just concentrating on the middle part. I'm not worried about this top bit yet. I'm just getting everything smooth. And the thing when you do a dummy, some people think that doing a dummy is easier than real cake. It's actually harder to do a dummy because the little thing is lovely and light and it slips and flies about all over the place. So I find them more difficult than doing a real cake. If you are using a real cake, as Amy said, do use a ganache plate and then you won't be putting a full handprint through the top of your cake or the right. bottom of your cake. That's a disaster. Yeah. Um, if you are using a dummy cake for a certain amount of time when you're doing the bottom, you can actually have a board with a nail in to hold it, um, but it's a bit difficult when you're doing the upside down method like this. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. <laughs> no. So these are Barina smoothers. There's, uh, she does two sizes of smoothers, there's two sets. There's one that's an 11 set. Um, she does have various sets and we have her biggest set. So if you do see any a lot cheaper than ours, it's mainly because it's a reduced size set. And we do have the Getter Grip in there. The one that Amy's currently using at the moment is a smaller Getter Grip. Um, as you can see, it's actually quite big. Um, the reason it's called Getter Grip is because there's a lovely little rubber side affixed to it. And it's to stop your hands slipping off the actual smoother itself because when you start getting a pace on you know before you know it that little um, acetate thing slips out your hand and then you've got a big handprint on and they are not to go in the dishwasher they are to oh, be no, hand washed okay and um, the bigger one that's just in front of the camera there is um, a really lovely big one and it's ideal so you would do no harm in buying both sets and it's perfect for your big cakes and you can even use two together when you get really cocky and clever. <laughs> <laughs> I love these, like these are just yes. amazing. Yeah, so they're well worth um, uh, buying. We're her main stockist for them. Um, I think we've got quite a lot still in stock. I think some of you got some in your gold box as well. That's a little treat. It. Yes. So uh, Therese is asking, as a newbie to making cakes, would you practice on real cakes or dummies? Um, probably dummies if it's your smoothing, yeah, because you'll end up wasting loads of cake. Yeah. But the most important you'll put thing, your hand through it. <laughs> yeah, the most important thing when it comes to doing cakes is your base needs to be spot on yeah. underneath your cake. If you're ganache in or your buttercream in is not nice, neat, tidy, then you're not going to get no. nice, neat, tidy. And that's edges. the other thing when people don't realise that when they are um, covering the cakes, uh, you know, they blame the sugar paste when really probably it is that they haven't got straight edges. Yeah. Uh, they haven't got straight edges, their buttercream is not smooth. Their buttercream, they didn't put their um, cake in the fridge to firm up. 
um, really very difficult to cover and I, I have done it live because I've had to um, try and cover a, a cake that has just been had its buttercream and ideally you should put it in the fridge for at least an hour I would say. I don't know how long you put yours in the fridge for to firm up. Well I don't use buttercream, I use ganache. Ganache, yeah. Not, and I but you still, put it in the, you still put it in the fridge when you use ganache, don't you? Or can you use it straight away? No, what I tend to do is, if I'm honest with you, I've got a cool room in the farm house, obviously I've got the farmhouse. Yeah. Um, and once it's ganached, I just leave it in the cool room to sit yeah. all night. Yeah, so, so it, it leaves really, it cool down the Yeah, night, it yeah. really hardens yeah. up. Like, but not everybody has the luxury of you having a farmhouse and a cooler. No, room. I mean, Some you could put it in the fridge. fridge if you wanted, um, <laughs> and then you need to take it out and let it sit. Yeah, come back Otherwise, to warm temperature. Yeah, it sweats yeah. when you're putting the sugar paste on, mm -hmm. and it's an absolute nightmare. Yeah, so don't try and do a fresh cake buttercream it and try and put sugar paste on the top and so many of you do that and then what happens is it all goes horribly wrong and it's not your fault it's the sugar paste fault so you know I do repeat this quite a lot user error things do work so you really do have to be very careful when you start blaming a product really do look at did you do everything right lot of savings tonight isn't there there is on this road all yeah. the time basically we're on the main road the hospital's at the end of this road oh okay so the hospital's at the end of this road and we're the first sort of like a little village before you get on all to all the outer villages okay so uh um, so you hear it all the time yeah then. so it's uh it's the main road for the uh hospital and the police ah uh, and if you're cold, Marie, can you shut the door now, cool down. <laughs> I've put my clothes back on. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just buffing now, um, trim the edge off. And you'll notice I've got a lip coming up, that's fine, I want to get rid of that excess. So I'm just going around it all. So you see what we mean? You have to take your time. If you've got a cake you want to get out the same day, give them a naked cake. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Do not promise that you'll have a cake. Oh, you know what? Put the Russian pipe and tip flowers all over it. But if you've got a cake that's got to go out quick, you're making it yourself a load of hard work. You are. And then you start to, like, you put your fingers in things that you're not supposed you start to, to cry. And things break. And, and then it's you end up really deflated, don't you? Because yeah. like, it's not worked out how it's supposed to work out. So I hope you're loving this live. If you are, do let me know. Get those love hearts going. Thumbs up. Let us know that you're enjoying it. It's a very informative live. And I will say that Amy has been up since half past four this morning. She was going to do a live on Monday, but circumstances at home mean she has to be back at home on Monday. So with every, so she's had no rest because if she'd been doing it on Monday, she would have been able to have a day's rest. So basically she was up at half past four on the way to the airport. Then we've been here. We've had, I forgot to order the dummies for the class. So we've had to have a trip, quite a long trip. <laughs> then we had to pop in the warehouse, drop a load of spare, all the dummies off there. And, um, so I, I have got a lot of dummies, but I haven't put them into stock yet either. <laughs> Dropped them off the warehouse, forgot to put them in stock. Oh. So uh, let me just show them that. Yeah, super. So um, I said to Amy, has agreed to do the live tonight. It's going to be a one hour, but as everything, I would like to get as much out as I can. So I asked her if she would <laughs> cover a dummy and then not only can she luster it. And then can she put some drip on and can we paint it gold? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know how we're doing for time. Does anybody know what the time is? And Amy, you're gonna to have to get a move on because it's 9.31. Oh. Yep. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm just using the edge of this um, smoother here just to tidy up the bottom edges so there's nothing's jagged. I've just put my finger in there because that's the hole for the flower. Yeah. Just in case anything. She did explain that earlier that she was putting a hole in the polystyrene deliberately because once you put the um, sugar paste on, she needed <laughs> It's very difficult to actually get um, the wire in polystyrene. So she's actually made the hole earlier and then obviously she needed to put it in in the sugar paste so she knew where it is. Hi. Yeah. So um, I think, Amy, because of time, I think that cake is looking beautifully smooth. Yeah. I have to do. It's going to do. It's, it's going to have to do. do and that's but I will it. say it's looking good. What do we all think? Does it look good? It's not bad for a quick job. 
so I think it looks very good. So how long would you leave a cake out that had been refrigerated overnight to harden buttercream before you put the fondant on? For a cream won't harden if it's not in the fridge. No, she said how long, if it's been in the fridge overnight, I, how long would you take it out and leave it before you went and put I would, you covered to it? To be honest, if it's buttercream, I would just be covering straight away yeah. because it, the buttercream obviously starts coming back up to room temperature. Yeah. So what Amy's saying there is you put the cake into the fridge, allow your buttercream to firm up because obviously you will have got all your lovely smooth edges and then when you take it out, you go to cover straight awesome. away. Don't bring it back to room temperature because it's just going to go soft Luster. again. So everyone is saying it's fabulous, it's lovely. Now we're going to luster a cake in five minutes, so don't blink. <laughs> oh, no. oh my God. Right, so this is um, pistachio. Right, there's a torch here. There we go, camera. So yeah. it's Faye Cahill pistachio, we're yeah. using that. In and rock. lots of you got pistachio in your gold box, so we deliberately use that. And we've got some sugar flare rejuvenator spirit. So this is food grade ethanol. Um, so much better than using alcohol because the alcohol goes streaky yeah this stuff's like more concentrated so there's two products that you can use rejuvenator or dipping solution okay it's food grade ethanol uh, ethanol is it called yeah ethanol. yeah i think i called it alcohol the other week and you were all in fits of laughing and uh, well, it is a I, form think, of alcohol, I think john was saying oh that's handy so it is part of the alcohol family, but it's um, this one as is perfectly as Amy said. If you use um, vodka, which lots of you do, um, it does go streaky. So it's ideal for some things, but on big things like this, you could do with really using dipping solution or rejuvenator. We sell both in the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen, and people use both, and they're both here because Amy was going to show you both of them. Oh, wow. Both in exactly the same um, bottle. Okay. So, do you need a dummy for that at the moment? Or are you happy on the grease proof there? Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah. So, this is the dipping solution. So, they're both the same bottle, both the same product. And, um, yeah. Yeah, and brilliant is what you need, isn't it? So, we are now going to lustre in the pistachio green Fay Cahill. Now, a lot of you got this colour in your gold box. But then I've deliberately asked Amy to use this colour because I knew that you got it. So you know what, let's see what it looks like on the cake. Okay, so... Right, so should we do the side camera? Yeah, if possible. <laughs> Feeling nervous? No, I'm not bothered. <laughs> I'm just going to hash on. You carry on. So I am um, putting it on vertically. And it will look really wishy-washy for the first few coats, okay? Yeah. Um, could I get a buffing brush, please? Yeah. One of the fluffy ones, if possible. Yeah. Super. I've watched those tutorials before. Hey, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you can come back again, Sam. <laughs> in fact, what you can do, Sam, for do a second, is you can put that drip in. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a shake. Just pop it, it. Just turn oh, it turn it and shake, see how it is. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Don't put it on with the lid on. Thank you. <laughs> so if yeah, you put no, 30 seconds on, put the lid on, give it a shake. So you'll see now what happens when you put this on, you get all these streaks. You do get the streaks. You have to put several coats on, okay? So Amy is going at rapid speed here for you because I know lots of you have said that you'll be, you don't mind if we go over, but Amy has got a class tomorrow. Maria has happily agreed to come in, but she has got a boyfriend at home waiting for her. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and uh, I think I'm sure Sam and that would like to get home. So we're gonna go at speed. So you put one coat on, two coats on, and then you do have to buff. So we have got to wait. Ideally, we do need to give it a little bit of drying time, but Amy is just speeding the process. So you get a lovely, nice buffing brush. Now you're gonna kill me because I sold it. Well, I gave Amy this brush, but um, I sell these brushes, but they went like hotcakes. And when I bought them, I didn't, that's perfect. When I bought them, I didn't realize they were gonna go so fast. Oh, that's amazing. Eh? That's and amazing. Uh, I had a whole range of them in. And then I've only realised when Amy asked me about them that I'm actually out of stock. So I do apologise. So I will get some ordered and get them in. But you're going to have to wait a week or two. Yeah, then they'll sell out really quick again. Yeah. They're good brushes. And they don't cast. 
you know, you, you never lose any of the hairs out of them like yeah. you do with sunbrushes. Which is always good. That's great. I'll leave that with you just to give it a shake every now and again. And then if it starts to... Um, I'll let this one set the second. Yeah. So what do we think? It doesn't need to go back in there. So what do we think? So now who's got the pistachio colour in their gold box? I think we put the pistachio in, the misty blue maybe. Who's got it? Because when you see this finished, it's going to look fantastic. And you're all going to want to run off and use it. And the reason we put it in the gold box is because we know you're going to love it. And you're going to go and come back and buy some more. We do sell the painting brush, it's the Faye Cahill brush, it's a wide flow, we do sell that, that is in stock. We have got the white fractal pens in Leslie, sorry they've been in stock for two weeks now. So this um, pistachio will go beautifully with hydrangea, wait until Amy puts the hydrangea on the top. Because as I did ask Amy, would we could we use the pistachio? And we was looking at the misty blue, but you thought this would go better, didn't you? Make yeah. It pop. Make pop. So, so we've got our second coat on. So you'll notice that she's gone round once. She's given it a light dusting to blend in. And now she's putting her second coat on. So you do have to keep putting rejuvenator, and rejuvenator or dipping solution in the bowl to keep diluting it down. And um, anything that's in your bowl afterwards, just leave it to dry. And tomorrow morning, come back to it, or the following morning, come back to it, it'll be lovely and dry, and just get a small paintbrush, put it all, just start touching it, it'll all crumble up, break up, push it all together, and then scrape it back into your pot. It will be fine. Well, they're loving the colour. And it's also nice on the live, I did get Amy last time to use the Merlot for you, because, um, you know, some of you just tend to stick to the same colours. And if we get the, Mer the Merlot cake from behind, I think we've got it there behind. Mm -hmm. um, Maria is filming, so I'll show it you afterwards, actually. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> You've never lusted a cake this fast no, before, have like... you? <laughs> mm. Look how it, see, this is why you need a big dusting brush, and I'm sorry I haven't got them in stock. Oh, no. Shame on you. Girl. And in fairness, Amy was only doing a flower. I know. <laughs> He's grown on And I didn't legs. know I was out of stock. <laughs> <laughs> so doesn't it look good? Doesn't it look fabulous? And just a really nice, different colour that some of you wouldn't think about. You look at it and think, oh, why would I want a pistachio cake? But you, it's beautiful. When you see them, they are stunning. And um, they really are stunning. It'd be nice to have a bit of gold leaf on it as well. Yes, a bit of gold leaf would be lovely, yeah. We don't sell gold leaf. The reason I don't sell gold leaf is simply because not all customers understand about gold leaf. And what happens is it's very, very expensive. You can buy a very cheap version, but it's not edible. So do be careful what you buy. So if you see and it's very cheap, it is not edible i don't care what they tell you yeah but the proper stuff is very expensive and i was going to buy it in and then when i looked at it and then i thought i can't have that going out to customers and then if you get it stuck to your fingers or you don't put it on properly and you don't understand it you'll then say it's all broken up and then you'll be asking me for a refund so i thought you know what i'm going to give that to other suppliers they can have that type of problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not the easiest of stuff to yeah. work with Yes, Leslie, it will. So a few people just mentioned that they didn't know that they could save what was left in the bowl and they just wash it away. Yeah. But you can save it. Yeah, there's no point in wasting it. No. Now. Have we still got the fake A Hill dust in the sale? Is it finished now? Uh, the small pots, we still have some of them. They're in the sale. sale so. Sorry, not the big ones. It's the big ones that are still in the sale, isn't it? It is nice dust really nice dust um yeah it's a beautiful dust i would probably say it's one of the best dust if i'm really honest yes. lustring um does each layer have to dry ideally yes i would say yes but in this case 
it's not happening. No. So um, ideally, I would let it dry and then give it a dust with your luster with your luster brush. You know your big brush there, and um, and then give it another coat. And you'd probably do two to three coats. Sometimes maybe four, depending on the colour. Do not worry. Um, all you've got to do is keep adding the rejuvenator to the colour, a little bit more dust, a, a pot will cover several cakes. You will not use a pot on one cake. If you're using a cup pot on one cake, you have made it far too thick. And if we can get the ball in the shot there, Maria. Um, I'm just gonna go over the top to this camera there. So um, let me just see where that is. Um, I'll tell you what, show it to the side camera. Maria, there it is. So you'll see it there, more juvenator. And then, you know, whatever's left, it goes a long, long way. And I think some of you think, oh, I'm not paying that for that little tub. But believe me, you'll decorate three or four cakes. It's way worth the money. Yeah. I would be very much. I agree, Jo. Cake. It's a beautiful colour for Christmas. At uh, free stuff. Yes. I really like to see bridesmaid dresses in this colour. Yeah, I do. With lots of hydrangeas. Yeah. In cream. <laughs> Um, would this cover the same amount if colour over white or chocolate ganache? Can you cover the ganache with it? I don't actually know, it's not something I've tried. Mm -hmm. I've got to be honest, I don't know. Now see now what's happening here, we're using the brush to dust it up. Now I, we have not really allowed this to dry but it's still looking beautiful, okay? Um, ideally, I'm sure Amy's going to kill me afterwards because I've put her professionalism to this name, her name to this, and uh, she'll be going, Carol. But it does look amazing, really, really does. So I think you've done yourself proud there getting that done in that time. Yeah. Um, we don't know if you could use it direct on ganache. I think it would slide off. I think it would possibly slide off as well, but I don't know. But give it a try. Just do a little patch test and see what happens. As far Mix as I'm aware, water, it just goes straight But onto. you wouldn't be able to luster. Pardon? You wouldn't be able to luster, yeah. but I think if you mix it with cocoa butter, you could paint. Do you think so, yeah? Yeah. I don't know. I can't answer the question. I really don't know. But if you want to do a patch test, find out and let us all know. It'd be great. In fact, do the whole cake. We don't mind you wasting the cake. <laughs> we'll find somebody for you to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> so we do have loads of colours. I think there's about just short of 30 colours of the Faye Cahill. There's some beautiful pinks. You know what? Take something out of your comfort zone and try one of them because you'll love them all. Yeah, they are nice. I'm just going to do that. To do the big tubs now yeah. as well. So that big, yeah. Well, we do the big tubs and the small tubs. So that big indentation on the cake is deliberate. Amy did that there because she needed to make a hole in the polystyrene dummy um, before she covered it. So it's not um, a mistake. It's actually been put there on purpose. Yeah. She, uh, Laura's going to let us know if it's um, successful. Good. Thank you, Laura. I agree with you, Mo. This colour would look fabulous with purple. Um, I haven't got your cake drum, but that doesn't matter. We're not doing a drum tonight, are we? No. 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 That was very firm. <laughs> <laughs> no. If you want a drum, you do it yourself. <laughs> so what time is it now? Even Maria was going, nope. No, darling. It's quarter to ten, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> So Jane McDougall said she had to pop out. She's just got back home and that is stunning. It would be lovely as a luster marble too. <clears throat> I'll tell you what would be really nice if you got some gold paint as well, even if you didn't have the gold leaf and you just did some little gold splashes if you were clever enough. Yeah, with a brush like. Yeah. Yeah. Depends on what you're going to be doing. Like if, if folk are doing that for a birthday cake, mm -hmm. yeah, but me, I'm always thinking wedding cake. Yeah. Wedding cake. Don't make it too hot. So, um, Carol Shields said she got the Faye Cahill pink in her mystery box and it was beautiful. So, we are going to put some drip on this. I just need to make sure, I'm just going to, Amy, can you do a patch test? Oh, can you pass this, is there any more greaseproof paper in there? Is that pink box got greaseproof paper in? Right in front of the pink box? Here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the one in front of you? Oh, <laughs> So what we'll do is I'll just before we put See I would on, normally give this another three coats but yeah. we don't have time. No, we don't. Tonight. So um as Amy says, she would give it actually another three coats. In fairness, I'm a minge, that's all you're getting. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think when you're looking up close to it, that's the way what you would think that, but otherwise, yeah. I just need to put it back. Do we want to, do you want to get a food tester? Do you want to use the meat? Yeah. So we are using the drip now. We're just getting ready to use some drip on the side of the cake. Now we're doing this because a lady messaged me on Facebook this morning and said, Carol, how do you bake the drip? So let me just see. I don't know which camera I can get it on to see where Amy is. So unfortunately, I can't see that side of the camera. We're only putting a few drips on. Let me just get around here. I don't know which camera, how to see. Ah, there we go. Do you want to do the, yeah? Yes, one sec. So it's just too loose, that drip. So it's just a bit too hot. That's okay. That's the problem with it, isn't it? I don't think it's too bad. Yeah? I quite like it when it's loose. Do you like it like that? So yeah. it's like a proper drip. Aye, proper drip. <laughs> That's like a proper paint drip, Aye. isn't it? <laughs> Which camera? Do you want to put these cameras? Uh, yeah, yeah. So you're just... Yeah. So you can do little single drips just like that, or you can double them up. It's entirely up to you, okay? Now you'll see that we're using purple, and the reason we're using this is because we're going to paint it over in gold. We are not going to do all of it, so Amy, you can stop, because <laughs> <laughs> we won't have time. We do need to let this set for a couple of minutes, and then we're probably just going to try and paint one drip, because time is running out. And we are, and this was just for a lady who messaged me on Facebook this morning and said to me, Carol, can you tell me how to paint it? So all I wanted to do was show you, you don't have to use white. You can use any colour that you want and then paint, yeah? And I do agree with you, Glad. The Fay Cahill Copper would look awesome with that colour. Yes, it would. So we are now fitting in our... Um, arrangement of hydrangeas doesn't that look beautiful on there so you see how well it goes with the green doesn't that look stunning so we just so need this to set we just need it to set <laughs> Fun it. yeah well i tell you what you lot can like and share so while we're giving it a minute to set i think what i'll do is i'll come over there now and i'll actually do the draw for last thursday isn't it so just give me a minute there. So we just need this to set. We are only going to paint one drip, guys. Sorry about that. Um, just let me get off here now. Do you want me to go to the camera? Uh, yeah, would you mind? So just let me get off the... So I've just got to power up my phone again. My phone, when I do it, when I watch actual live on my phone, I can't get it off. Oh, why? I don't know. I have to turn the phone off. Amy, do you want to talk about your Facebook page? Yeah. And website? For sure. So, <clears throat> for those who don't know who I am, <laughs> I am Amy. I am owner of Couture Red and Cakes by Sweet Cheeks Limited, and I am from Aberdeenshire. Um, I hold classes up in Aberdeenshire and I travel the UK teaching as well um, we've actually got a student page which has got loads of tutorials and things on it um, you just need to look up Couture Wedding Cakes by Sweet Cheeks student page um, we do run online night schools as well so we kind of do a little bit of everything and obviously we've got our own range of cutters um, I specialise in wedding cakes Wedding cakes only and sugar flowers. So and you're award winning as well. Yes, I am. Yeah, I am. You don't, you don't just specialise. You've actually won quite a lot of awards, haven't you? Yeah. So I don't. I don't like. I think it, I don't like. No, we're like, we're telling. Pick <laughs> yourself up, Amy. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> so yes. I've got to wait for my camera to load up so you can oh. tell as much as you want. <laughs> So um, basically, um, if you want to have a look on the student page, it'll tell you about all the co uh, courses we've got up and coming. I'm, I'm down in Liverpool soon. Where else am I? I'm here tomorrow. Liverpool, Somerset. Uh, where else? Ireland. Watch me, not watch Carol. York. I, I know that Carol is more beautiful, but you need to watch <laughs> me. <laughs> um, I'm in York, so I'm in a few different places. Oh, and we've got one in Aberdeenshire as well. Um, so just 
feel free to add yourself, Michelle, the admin. She's pretty good if you've got any questions and I'm not on the page. She helps answer things. Um, and generally, I upload videos when I'm doing things on cakes. Um, it's not as fancy as a setup, in fairness. Um, it's all done on the phone and stuff, but it's pretty clear. It lets you know what to do. And that's it, really. I'm just having a bit of a meltdown. My phone has decided that it's not allowing me to log in a minute. Oh. I'm on my own Wi-Fi. Uh, no, I'm on my own Wi-Fi. So I could paint this now? You can paint this then. You okay. carry on with that. Okay. I'm just thinking, what, what can um, I use? Yeah, Maria's going to come and film you. Do you want to? Yeah, I'll do this. So I now Please stay in my hand. I now can't get on Facebook at all on my own phone. We love Baker Hill. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So this is Baker Hill Shimmer Gold. I picked this one because it's a really nice pale gold um, and it will complement the green perfectly. So I'm just... Um, how do I get that off now? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I need to get that off. How do I get that off? So what I'm doing here is I've put the, um, the rejuvenator in but I'm having this slightly thicker because we're painting on top of gold. Okay. So it's not as thin. You don't want it too runny because then it'll run off the chocolate and that's a disaster. Okay. So I've we've, got it. Yeah. We've got our drips, so you're just gonna use your brush and you do need to build it up. So it does take a few coats, by so the way. Can you just turn it? Yeah. There we go. Got it there. Got it good, good. So the first coat I was looks wishy washy. So I'm just trying to see how can I see it on the camera because your hand there, if you can put it down yet. So when you first put your first coats on, they are wishy washy. So do not worry. It's like everything else. Just take your time. So I'm just going to find out what I did last Monday. Can anybody remember what did I do last Monday? So, last so no Thursday wish. Thursday was Karen. Pardon? Ruthie, Ruthie, Karen. Was Karen Thursday? So did I do that chocolate cake last Monday? Mm -hmm. Right, so it's just, right, okay. Was it definitely a chocolate cake, 27th of the first? Yeah, yes, but I think they throw Oh, it's the Karen Griffiths one, isn't that what we're going to look for? Sorry. I love this gold. It's nice. In an ideal world, you'd have loads of time mm -hmm. to let it dry so you can build up the coats. It's looking not good. There we go. Okay, so let me just load the shares up one minute. I'm going to let that dry a minute so I can build it up. Oh, I love how they are So we're fine in our way. Right, so Ray, can you jump on the camera a minute? Yep. So what I'm going to get you to do, Amy, is... Yeah. Just one second. Can I just get past your moment? So we're just going to go up on this camera a minute. Mm -hmm. Don't paint, because you're going to pick a winner. So we're just going to... For a £25 voucher. So, can you put it just yeah. in front... Well, yes, over. That's brilliant. So we're just going to... So when you're ready, just stop it. Yeah. Lynn Steer. Lynn Steer. Mm -hmm. Well done. Because <laughs> you touched it again. We've yeah. now gone to the line. Yeah, so uh, we can't show you that, but it was Lynn Steer. So if you if you if you fast forward it really quick and then pause it quick, okay, it was Lynn, Lynn Steer. Steer. And she'll be really shocked because it was the second time she's won as well. Oh. <laughs> well, that's what you call lucky, isn't it? <laughs> it is. So, Lynn Steer, congratulations, you have won a £25 voucher to spend in a sugar and crumb shop. You know how to claim your voucher. And then good luck to all the rest of you who are sharing this live tonight, which means on Monday, because we are up in Crafters Companion, up in the North East, there's no live on Thursday night. We're doing a live on um, Thursday afternoon. 
uh, with Sarah Davies, Crafter's Companion. Those of you who don't know who Sarah is, she's the brand new dragon on Dragon's Den. Um, so we're up there doing a live with her. And then we're actually in her stores on the Friday and Saturday, five pound a ticket. Don't miss out, come and see us, that's where we are. And um, what else was I going to say to you? Um, so I'm going to do two draws on Monday. Uh, on Monday we're here with Molly Robbins and her legs, her legs have arrived. Um, well, I'm hoping they have. Um, so uh, they'll be on the website on Monday. Um, I don't unless she messages me over the over the weekend, and then we'll get them then. Uh, and do book on her class. So she's got two fabulous classes that you want to book on. Uh, get on those, and those classes are not being named what they are because she hasn't decided what they are. And I'm hoping it's going to be a body and legs. So one will be the standing, and one will be the lying down class. Yeah. So yeah. So when you're doing the drip. So you're going to have to do another one of those because it's not where I'm filming. So. Back here. Oh, actually, you did open it, so it was on Lynn Steer. Yeah, great. So well done, Lynn Steer. And let me get back to the live so I can read the comments. So like everything okay we are doing this pretty fast and amy's going to kill me after because she's not I've been allowed any time to allow things to dry so this is one of the chocolate drips um one of the chocolate drips you do put it on and you do have to let it dry because of time um she's having to paint it now so i know you all appreciate it you've give us loads of love hearts and thumbs up and everything else and ideally it does need two to three coats so what i wanted to show you you could just paint any color and tomorrow i will finish this off i'll finish it off and paint it and i'll show you on monday what it looks like fully painted up so we're dabbing it at the moment because it's tacky so uh i hope yeah. you totally understand why she's actually not painting straight on and you, you can see it's still wet look in the camera there you can see the shine it's still wet so i think what we'll do is we're telling you the idea now and on Monday I'll show you what it looks like after it's been painted because I think I am putting Amy under lots of pressure tonight and I hope you I do hope you understand. Hope you've got wine in your fridge. Eh? <laughs> wine in the, wine fridge. in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so let's look at you Amy there under stress. Yeah. <laughs> so um, what I do want to say the gold is gorgeous. Which gold was it you went for? Yeah the shimmer gold. So you will see that um in your own time put your drip on let it set okay so do more colors of the dust luster let it set so amy's just trying to speed on a little bit, a bit more like this you make the gold luster exactly as she did with the luster and then you do have to put several layers on and you have to build up your layers and i'll have this cake with me on monday's live and i will show it you completed so that's us done is it yeah great we're done so i do want to say a big thank you i'm just going to put you on the thing now with amy Um, i do want to say a massive thank you to all of you for joining us on a friday night sam thank you so much do you want to give us a wave it's been a with pleasure. amy <laughs> <laughs> so sam is a lovely lady who come in and bought something off us and then i brought it to the house so she popped up to the house so we had a lovely natter for an hour and um she she loves watching amy as well so i said why don't you come and watch her in the kitchen we have made her work tonight and then we're all going to go to bed and sam's going to clean the kitchen for us <laughs> that's what happens when you come here you have to work as well so do thank you all of you and maria thank you i know i told you it was only going to be an hour so she's going to get her body kicked off her boyfriend and her boyfriend was going to come we are so glad he hasn't because this live would have ended an hour ago yep. <laughs> he would have pressed the magic button so thank you very much have a super weekend and I will see you on Monday night. That's us, over and out. Maria, I don't know how to turn it off. Yep. <laughs> Do you want to see the last? The last what? Do you what, want to see the last word? That if they click on that. Is it up? Yep, so. <clears throat> yeah. If you do that. If I do that, Maria's going to tell me what I'm yes, doing. That's perfect. So basically, <laughs> if you click in that pop-up that is yeah. happening at the moment, just YouTubers, if you click on there, you will see the latest uh, Facebook Live that we did with, well, the last, the, the Facebook Live that we did Good. with oh, Amy Archibald before. Ah, so, yeah, the last one we did with Amy. Yes, yes, that's it. So we're doing this little, little dancing yes. thing. <laughs>
<laughs> you get off, you're not more than the box. Sorry. There's a magic box here. Did you oh, not know I... it's of your life? <laughs> click the box, click the box, <laughs> click the box. Like and share. See you on Monday. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye bye. Bye, girls. Bye. 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 Let's go to bed. See you, Sam. Clean up. <laughs> bye. 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 bye.